Hi, I'm Zay Harding. I spent most of my life traveling the globe to some of the world's most amazing destinations. And now my venture continues out to sea on board NCL's Pride of America. Custom made to navigate the idyllic coast of our next destination, my home state, Hawaii. This cruise hits so many islands, and that's just the first half of our island hopping journey. This cruise is the only ship that offers absolutely no days at sea and nearly 100 hours at port, which gives you a ton of time to really experience all of the islands. Let's dive into our Hawaiian adventure, starting with out of this world Maui. This is like I'm on another planet. And then our first stop on the big island. This is so powerful. Are you ready to embark with NCL? What I already love about this cruise is that it doesn't embark until the evening, so you don't feel rushed. You can ease into your vacation. Now, let's get this party started. Let's go for one of these uh, lava flows. Yeah, right? Thank you. Cheers. Whenever Norwegians set sail on a cruise, they throw a huge sail away party with tons of great music that gets everyone on their feet. It's such a blast. I chose this cruise because only NCL has a seven-day Hawaiian intra-island itinerary which runs all year round. You can't go wrong with that. And while I'm catching some shut-eye, we'll be traveling overnight to the beautiful island of Maui. Oh yeah, it's the perfect morning for some serious snorkeling. Molokini Crater is one of the top 10 snorkeling destinations in the world, so I'm very excited to dive in and see what I can find. Hey guys, how are you? Welcome. Thank you, I'm Zay. Zay, nice to meet you, Brad. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Welcome aboard the Noka Oi. And so for today's activity, what can I expect? We're gonna have some great snorkeling. We've got lots to see and hopefully find you guys some turtles as well. Excellent. Let's make that the goal today. Beautiful. Let's get out there, let's have some fun. All right. All right, we've made it to Molokini Crater. You this excited is, to get out there and have some fun? This is gorgeous. This water is so turquoise. The visibility here is incredible. We're seeing anywhere from 80 to 100 feet of visibility. This is probably some of the clearest waters that you can find out in the Hawaiian Islands. I'm itching to do this. All right, let's get you geared up and in the water. All right. The best way to describe Molokini Crater is just beautiful. The visibility is so clear, like beyond anything I've ever experienced. I was blown away by its beauty. After a quick jaunt, we arrive at Turtle Town, home to the green sea turtle. Coming here to Turtle Town is especially cool because you can connect with turtles. I come down to them and they'd swim with me and it's like they're just floating and flying underwater. Did you know there's an estimated 4,000 green turtles that nest in the Hawaiian Islands each year? It's no wonder these parts are one of the top places in the world to snorkel. It's no secret that I love food. And since I'm back in my home state, I need to dig my teeth into some authentic Hawaiian cuisine. Aloha, welcome Aloha. to Toby's. How are you? I'm so excited to be here. Oh. Toby's is my favorite. You have no idea how much I've been looking forward to getting this in the islands. Well, you came to the right place. Well, I like the top three. Is there any way to mix them all together? Yeah, you can do um, like a ginger wasabi. And are you gonna have some shave ice today? Uh, hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring it out to you. Okay, oh. here you go, Zay. Thank Got you, some wasabi, ginger, fresh ahi, yellowfin. Uh, yeah, My brother's no. a commercial fisherman. We cut it fresh every day. See? Yeah. Fresh off the boat. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so <laughs> excited for this. You can't get this fresh like that anywhere else in the world. Typical comes with rice and a potato salad. Oh, oh, oh. It's sweet and juicy. A little bit of spice, like I like. Wow, that's good. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm. You grow up with these things, you take them for granted sometimes. You move away and you realize you can't get them. And when you do, they're just not the same. This is beyond fresh. So good. How'd you enjoy your poke plate? Mm. Good? So, so good. It really uh, took me back. Well, now we get to top it off with a guava lihimoi passion fruit with lihimoi powder on top. Oh, Enjoy. Thank you, I will. Have a great stay while you're here. Oh, thank you. This is another thing not a lot of people can appreciate, but lihimoi is this local snack. It's actually a dried plum, but they figured out if you grind it up and sprinkle it as a topping, it is so delicious. Mmm. I'm a kid again right now. This is so, so good. 
That was exactly what the doctor ordered. Fresh, authentic pokey and shave ice. One of the beauties of this itinerary is that the ship stays overnight in Maui, which means we can take advantage of the more immersive experiences, such as watching the sunset at Haleakala. Welcome to the summit of Haleakala. Thank you. This is absolutely stunning. It feels like I'm in a little bit of in heaven up here. It sure can feel like that. How high are we? We're about 9,000 feet. The highest point on Haleakala is just over 10,000 feet. That is pretty high. That's not as high as Everest, is it? Uh, we're actually, if you were to measure us from the ocean floor mm -hmm. to our summit, we actually top out Mount Everest as the third largest mountain in the world. Wow. It feels like an ocean, but it's really just clouds. You're so high up, but I feel like I'm seeing an island over there. Is you, that an illusion or is that real? You, what you are seeing is the big island of Hawaii. Haleakala means house of the sun. Makes sense. You're here on a wonderful evening to view the sunset, and I want to make sure you have a spiritual experience like none other Aww. here at the summit. Thank you. Well, there's something I don't get to see every day. Sunset at Haleakala. Pretty spectacular. This is one of the only places in the world where you can watch the sunset from above the clouds. I mean, this is like I'm on another planet. If you ever come to Maui, take the journey up here. It's worth it. Now that was an incredible day of discovery and absolute beauty. Today, we're on the Big Island, headed to Volcanoes National Park, home of Kilauea and Mauna Loa Volcanoes. So we're at the summit of Kilauea Volcano. My guide, Bobby, grew up here, so he knows a thing or two about these volcanoes. So what do you think? I'm feeling this is so powerful. Just looking at it, seeing the steam rising, it feels very alive. The fact that we are able to witness the Earth being created is awesome. Four years ago, something caused the magma reservoir in the mountain to drain, and so the ground couldn't support itself and it just collapsed. And those of us who lived up here felt between 40 and 60 earthquakes every day. Wow. 820 acres were added to the shoreline of this island. That's more than a square mile. It reminds you that uh, we're just on the surface and there's a lot going on below us. There's a lot going on under our feet. You really can't appreciate it until you actually come here and experience it. Well, Bobby, thank you so much for bringing me up here. It's a pleasure. Back on the ship, an activity that's great for everybody and should not be missed, lay making. All right, well, welcome to our flower lay making class. So we're just gonna pick the stems off of the flowers, uh, and it's very easy. They just kind of pop off the back there. A lay embodies the aloha spirit, meaning it's a symbol of love, honor, and respect. We're just gonna use tapestry needles, and you're just going to push that through the top push that all the way down, and then it's a simple matter of rinse and repeat. The lay custom was introduced to the islands by early Polynesian voyagers to signify royalty and their ranks in society. I learned they can be made from flowers, leaves, and even shells. The origin of lay making was the flowers were the flowers that had fallen already. We had enjoyed the beauty of the flower while it was on the bush, and then once it fell, it still had plenty of beauty left in it. And so they strung them on a lay and wore them to get the absolute most use out of the plant that they could. And don't forget to say mahalo when given a lay. All right, Zay, so it looks like you're about finished there. How'd I do? Good, good. This looks really nice, really full. Well, I have a huge appreciation for laymakers now. Yeah. Here it goes. Thank yes, you very absolutely. much. Absolutely, it was my pleasure. Thank you very, my very pleasure. much. That was great. Even though I grew up here, I learned so many new things today. But now, I'm starving. And I asked the ship's cruise director to join me for dinner so I could learn more about what she does. Take us all. Whoa, look at this restaurant. So Anne, how did you become cruise director of Pride of America? I actually came to the Pride of America to just get away. And I started off on the ship at the bottom of entertainment. And then I discovered that I loved it. And that cruise director, that's my dream role. What does the cruise director actually do? So the cruise director really helps create that fun atmosphere. They are up on stage. They're creating the fun. They're creating the party. 
They are the ultimate activities host on board. They're the personality and the voice of the ship. Wait a second, are you the voice that we hear every morning, all the fun information that gets dished out? Absolutely. I knew I recognized it. You do have a fun personality. Anne knows this restaurant so well, so I took all of her food recommendations, and of course, they were all spot on. Wow, that's good. Anne is so passionate about her job, it really shows. When I came to the ship and I saw a cruise director, I saw, this is my way to my passion of being in front of people and inspiring people and keeping that excitement going with our guests. This and is I the love perfect it. job for you. As cruise director, how creative do they let you be with your position? Very creative. We actually have what we call programming on the cruise ship so that our guests have entertainment all day long. And so we get to help create the different activities themselves. So from scratch, trivias, from scratch, game shows. We want to make sure that guests have fun on board, but we also want to encourage for them to go explore in the port. Yeah. You know, we take cruises because we get to go to amazing destinations. We yeah. want them to see that destination. But life's a journey, not a destination. So on that journey, you're making it fun for We're everybody. making it fun. And yeah, I've really learned so much about you, about the position of cruise director and how fun it can be when made personal and with someone who cares, and about Pride of America. Thank you so much. And the food was also delicious. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. It's been wonderful giving you a glimpse into a place so near and dear to my heart, but we still have so much more to explore here in Hawaii aboard Pride of America. I'm Zay Harding. Aloha for now. Next on Embark with NCL, we continue our Hawaiian cruise aboard NCL's Pride of America as we learn why everything tastes so darn great here. That is so smooth. Dive deep into the Pacific. This is like a legitimate submarine. And get downright dirty mud bugging. That was so cool. Join me next time for even more of this unforgettable Norwegian Cruise Line tour of Hawaii. Are you ready to embark with NCL?